everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Josephine Ko, a Bolsendorfer concert pianist, but most of you will know me as the author of the Practice in Music Theory series. Starting from this video, I'm going to present various lectures and tutorials on the topics of my grade 6, 7 and 8 workbooks. To begin with, I shall start with the concepts of harmony in the grade 6 workbook. Interestingly, it would be good to start with topic 5 on chord symbols. Let's look at topic 5 on page 32 of the grade 6 workbook. A major triad has an interval of a major third and a perfect fifth. A minor triad has an interval of a minor third and a perfect fifth. For a diminished triad, it has a minor third and a diminished fifth. And for an augmented triad, you will hear a major third and an augmented fifth. You will notice the similarity between the major triad and the augmented triad. Both these triads consist of a major third between the first two notes. Similarly, for the minor and diminished triad, both these triads contain a minor third between them. At the bottom of page 32, you will notice that the qualities of the chords in the major key are fixed. However, the chords in the harmonic and melodic minors have different qualities. An example will be chord 4. In the harmonic minor, it is a minor triad, but in the melodic minor, ascending minor, it is a major triad, and in the descending minor, it is a minor triad. Interestingly, for seven chords, seven is written as a superscript next to the Roman numeral. Let us now look at the scale of C major. On top of each of these notes, we can put two notes above the tonic note to make a tonic triad, above the supertonic note, and it becomes a supertonic triad. And there we go with a median triad. Subdominant triad, dominant triad, submedian triad, and a leading note triad. Each of these triads give a different sound quality. All these triads can be indicated in different ways. We can use a basic Roman method, an extended Roman method, or jazz chord notation. So if we listen to the triads, they each give a different color. In the basic Roman method, we can write it this way, with just the basic block Roman numeral and the quality of the chord beneath it. However, we can also write them using extended Roman as well as jazz chord notation. So, capital Roman for major triad, small Roman letter for minor triad, and so on. Diminished triad is indicated this way. For other instruments, they may be more accustomed to seeing the chords written this way. C major triad, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, and B diminished. 
For a client or call to be notated fully, it is important to indicate its position or inversion. Thus, for a C major chord, the tonic triad, we will just write the Roman numerals and it is. And for the first inversion, the chord can be written as a 1B. And in the second inversion, it is written as a 1C. The changes in the inversion can be noticed with the different bass notes. In jazz chord notation, we would write this as a C major chord, this is a C major with an E bass and a C major as a G bass note. If you like what I've done for you today, you can do the exercises on page 35 and 36. The principles of doubling, voicing, chord progressions will be discussed in my further videos. If you like what I do for you today, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you again!